Hey guys, Nick here with Tech Duo. Going to uh, show you how to create a share on a Synology disk station and how to add it to your Windows uh, computer. So, uh, first things first, we're going to go ahead and click on Control Panel, Shared Folder. And right now I have a video drive. This is where I store all my YouTube videos um, and so on. So I'll go ahead and create a new one. So this one, we'll just call this one Files just so I can uh, use it for my backup files. Um, so description, uh, file folder. Can't type, file folders. So volume one, we have three and a half terabytes left. So um, as you guys can see here, these options, I'll just go through them quickly. So um, the first option, of course, hides your uh, folder. Um, unless you know where it is the, and, and how to access it, it, it won't show it under My Network Places. So if a computer loads up My Network Places, um, normally it shows any available um, and shared out items. Um, this hides it from that. The next one is hide subfolders. Um, so if someone doesn't have permissions to those subfolders, it will not show them. Um, the next one's a recycle bin. So if um, the recycle bin is available, anytime something is deleted, on that um, share, it will go into the recycle bin. If it is not enabled on here, it will get permanently deleted. So just be careful of that. And then of course, um, encrypt this share folder, which um, essentially just encrypts it, just makes it more secure. Um, and that's about it. So we're just gonna go ahead and click the OK button. All right, so we'll let it process. And now it's going to uh, go ahead and ask what users uh, want what access. So um, currently admin, we're gonna go ahead and give it all access. So read and read write, um, guest, we don't want it to have any access. And if you guys of course have other guests and users on here, you can add them as well. So we'll go ahead and click okay. And there it is. So uh, it created the file, the files there. Uh, we'll go ahead and now minimize this. And we'll go ahead and open up File Explorer. So right here, what we're gonna do is type in the IP address of our um, local Synology. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in uh, backspace backspace 192.168.86.30. So that is my local network scheme. I'm gonna hit enter and it's gonna ask me to log in. So I'm just gonna put in my credentials if it will take it, maybe I'm spelling it wrong. There we go. So now it's gonna say, now it has files and my video drive. Of course, like I said, video drive has my other data on it. Files is what we just created. We'll double click on that and there you are. So it has, um, so you have the, abil uh, the ability to create new folders here. Test and go ahead and add whatever you want here. We can go ahead and drag items as well. And that's pretty much it. So what we'll do next is just um, quickly map this um, as a uh, network drive. So for people that want to know how to do this, we, you can actually go ahead and copy this part right here. So you're not able to map the IP address, but you can map the shared drive. So we'll go ahead and just copy this. We'll go to this PC, computer at the top, map network drive, and we can go ahead and select the letter. So we'll go ahead and select um, Let's see, why not just S? We'll select S. And we'll go ahead and put in the path. Hit click finish. And that's it. So now you can see here, it is mapped for me. I can double click on it, it'll open right up. We have the test folder that we created. And that's pretty much it. Very quick and simple. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them below. Any comments, if you guys liked it, like and subscribe. Um, and that's it. Have a great day, guys.